So Solana for beginners, let's get right into it. Now, why might you be interested in using the Solana blockchain or participating in the Solana network? Precisely because of network, right? Network effects is what it's all about. And if you put some of the most popular blockchains here, right, that everyone's familiar with, whether that's Ethereum, Polygon, the most popular Ethereum layer two, Avalanche, probably the most popular kind of EVM chain that's not, you know, alternate layer one, and Solana, the most popular non-EVM blockchain or network, you can see that Solana has by far the most daily active addresses. There's now over 2 million people per day participating on the Solana network. And, you know, the past few months, you know, you can put this over a year, whatever, or over uh, one year. And Solana hovers around over a million active users per day and it is by and large the most active ecosystem with the most active participants now what does that mean it means network effects right it means when you use apps there's going to be other peers to participate with when you play games other players to play with when you lend and borrow other financiers to lend and borrow to um, etc and that means more developers come to this chain to build more apps and it's a vicious circle now you can see over the past year it's been above 1 million and it's now high, right? Polygon is pretty high as well because, of course, Ethereum's not going anywhere. The ETF just got approved, and Ethereum, as the most decentralized layer one blockchain, the most secure, well, it's always going to have its place. And Solana is going to be, you know, you know, the co-star, one A and one B, right? Uh, Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, Burger King, uh, McDonald's, Apple, Microsoft, whatever it may be. And there are trade-offs to each chain. If you see other popular chains like Avalanche, you can see that people are barely using it, right? So I think we're headed to this world where it's EVM and it's Solana or SVM. And Solana, it's a modular blockchain. Watch my bull case. I'm not going to explain what it is here, but just know it has some technological advantages, um, some superior tech that allow it to, to have much lower fees than Ethereum and a much better user and developer experience than Ethereum, right? And so we're not going to get into the details of that, but Solana, you know, and it's still technically in mainnet beta, right? So it's not even technically fully complete yet. Still a lot of exciting stuff to come. And Solana is even going to have its layer twos, just like Ethereum. They are going to be people building on top of the SVM. Okay, so you want to participate in Solana. It's one of the biggest coins. You can see right there, Bitcoin is not a smart contract uh, blockchain. USDT is a stable coin, so that doesn't count. And Binance kind of doubles as an exchange token, so it doesn't really count. <clears throat> and so if you're looking at the top 10 list right here, you know, there's a meme coin there. This is for payments and remittances. That doesn't count. Another stable coin, a liquid stake and derivative. So it's just Ethereum and Solana as kind of the smart contract blockchains that are popular right tom coin is would be number three here as it's broken into the top 10 here now what can we do how do we find solana projects to interact with what do we do on solana well the first thing you need to do is you need a solana wallet so you're going to go to phantom wallet it's the most popular solana wallet and you're going to download phantom wallet either on your phone or right here on your internet browser you see this little browser extension and you download that right and this is going to be your wallet which is essentially your address and your your gateway to access everything on solana okay in that wallet address you're going to be able to hold soul solana's token and you're going to need soul to participate in the solana ecosystem everything you do when you trade when you lend when you borrow when you send cryptocurrencies it's going to require a little bit of solana to pay for a gas fee now it's not like ethereum where you're paying 10 20 30 40 50 dollar gas fees everything you do cost micro you know like less than one cent so it's very fast it's very cheap it's essentially free right almost free you just need to have one so point one soul in that wallet and then you can start to interact with different solana ecosystem projects and how do we find them well if you click on solana here on coin gecko you scroll down and you click on solana ecosystem right here this is going to take you to the solana ecosystem page where you can view other projects building on solana right and um well this is actually one of them only fans on solana that's a, <laughs> interestingly enough and here you can browse different projects you've got your meme coins you've got your kind of your deep in decentralized infrastructure we talked about render in my deep in video in my ai video you have more meme coins infrastructure you have DeFi, decentralized finance you can scroll through and kind of click on different projects uh, research them see which ones interest you 
if you want to maybe trade one of these tokens, you look at the market cap, you look at the token economics, you pull up the chart, and you can see if there's a trading opportunity. Now, besides trading, let's talk about actually interacting with the Solana ecosystem coins. I've got a few tabs up here of the most essential ones you should be familiar with, and let's go through them real quick, just an introduction, right? And so you can also go to DeFi Llama, by the way, and if you click on Solana, you can see the decentralized finance protocols on Solana. Okay, so these are the most popular decentralized finance protocols on Solana by TVL or Total Value Locked. And so this is another way to explore if you're into DeFi um, and, and you can look for different things there. You can see flash trade, for example, derivatives. So if you want to trade derivatives, you would go here, click on website. You, of course, you want to check their Twitter, make sure they're audited, things like that. Um, and, and, you know, you can go check out that protocol and, you know, you click here, you launch app and this is what you would do you trade here you can trade derivatives right so that's how you find them DeFi llama or coin gecko go to their website and what you do is you get started and you connect your wallet so when you click on connect wallet you connect your phantom wallet that we already downloaded and then you have solana in your wallet and now you can trade stuff right looks like you can trade different coins here you can trade forex you can even trade stocks coming soon different metals like gold and silver Okay, so that's pretty cool. And so now you can trade um, in a decentralized way. Of course, decentralized finance, we've explained this. So I have a DeFi video for beginners coming soon. So go, so subscribe if you want to see that. But it's non-custodial. It means the funds always stay in your wallet. There's no centralized entity or company taking hold or taking custody of your funds. You don't have to trust a bank. And that's the whole nature of crypto. It's, it's permissionless. It's trustless. It's non-custodial. You keep custody of your funds and you trade, you interact with smart contracts. Okay, so moving on, we're going to start with basic DEXs or decentralized exchanges. There's two very popular ones and they're called Radium and Orca. And so if you come to Radium or Orca, this is spot trading. It's not derivatives. So it's not futures. It's just straight spot tokens, no leverage, no margin. So you trade your soul for any other coin that you're interested in in the Solana ecosystem, right? And so you can buy Radium token itself. You can buy Render, which we've talked about. Uh, Ren Render, which we've talked about right here, um, and, and so on. And you just boom, connect wallet and swap. You can also do that on Orca. You can also provide liquidity in these protocols. Now, what does that mean? That means these are liquidity pools. This is how decentralized exchanges work. This is how you able to operate an exchange with no market makers. Basically, different traders pool the liquidity into these pools. For example, if you have Solana and if you have USDC, you can put them into this pool and you're going to earn yield, right? 0.18% per day. You can analyze that, etc. You're going to earn from the volume and from the trading fees. So you're going to earn passive income on these tokens if you just want to hold them. Now, be careful because there's something called impermanent loss and you have to be aware of how to handle impermanent loss. Again, I'll explain that in my DeFi for beginners video. Now, next we have Jupiter. What is Jupiter? It's the most famous decentralized exchange on Solana, but this is an aggregator. This is a decentralized exchange aggregator. So what it's going to do, it's going to find the best price for you. It's going to route your orders through different exchanges like Orca, which we just saw, and Radium, which we just saw. It's going to find the best price on both of them, combine different routes for your order, uh, maybe you know, buy half of your order on Radium, half of your order through Orca, and give you the best price to trade. So you should always probably come trade on, on Jupiter, on an aggregator like Jupiter. And they have limit orders and different cool features here as well. There's a bridge here. So if you only have funds on Ethereum, on MetaMask, you can connect to that and send, uh, you know, via Allbridge, you can send money over to, to Solana to get started. Okay, so that's all for spot trading. Um, and they do have a perps beta. So that's coming online here soon on, on Jupiter. But let's get into normal perps and we're going to start with drift okay drift is pro is the largest perpetual protocol on solana what does that mean you can trade perpetuals or basically futures cfd contracts so you deposit usdc into the smart contract or solana actually you can deposit anything they take a lot of different forms of collateral which is very cool um, you can come over here and you can deposit anything right you can deposit solana drift token itself jupiter token and with that collateral you'll be able to trade all these perps right here so it's basically like having a centralized exchange like binance and trading their futures 
but you do it all right here through your Phantom Wallet in DeFi. And so that's very cool. And of course, these are futures. So you have leverage here. You can get up to 10x leverage. Of course, don't risk more than you can afford to lose, know what you're doing, etc. Moving on from trading, we have lending and borrowing markets or money markets, right? So Camino is the most popular one on Solana. If we scroll down here, you can see there's different markets and you can see the supply APY, right? This is the, the interest rate you're going to earn for supplying these tokens or lending them to the market, to your peers, to other people, right? So peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing market, you can get 12% on your USDC, which is pretty nice, right? That's better than a money market account or holding it in your bank, 12% right here. And then here are the borrowing rates for different tokens. So this provides you with many different um, use cases, right? You don't want to sell your crypto and incur capital gains taxes. You want to hold it for the long term. Well, hey, just supply it right here, earn some extra yield on it and borrow against it, right? You can supply, you know, whatever you're holding, borrow something else and go play with it in DeFi. Go, go do different things with it. Also liquidity pools right here where you can provide liquidity. Here's a seven day APY and you can earn extra rewards in KMNO tokens as well. Okay, lots of different features here as well. There's kind of stable asset pools, which is pretty cool. So, so, so you don't have any permanent loss. 21% there is very nice. Jito so, so as well, 22%. So these are all very nice. If you just want to hold Solana, you don't want exposure to another asset for impermanent loss. Well, you can do that right there as well with kind of like kind assets, liquid stake and derivatives and Solana itself. Moving on from DeFi, we're going to move into NFTs. So Magic Eden is the main NFT marketplace on Solana. So magiceden.io. And you connect your wallet over here. You can come and browse and you can buy NFTs, right? You can you can buy NFTs. So these are the prices. Oh, they have Bitcoin as well. So you're going to have to make sure you are on the Solana network right here. And yes, so Famous Fox Federation. Okay. So it looks like these are pretty popular. Six Soul is the floor price here. And you can buy your NFTs and they'll go to your wallet. They have a cool feature called Lucky Buy. It's kind of like rolling the dice and you'll get a better price or you won't get it at all. So be careful with that. And, and you can browse NFTs here. So that is Magic Eden. They don't have a token yet. So there's a chance if you've used this before, you might get an airdrop later when the Magic Eden token drops. New, the next one is Tensor, which is a newer NFT marketplace with a lot of cool features. And this is a very cool project. Just like Blur came on Ethereum and kind of changed the game and had a lot of interesting new features. Well, this did the same thing, but for Solana. And check this out. This is actually very cool. Now you have NFT trading, but they included candlestick charts. Right. So you go to the daily and this is literally looking at the price. You know, of course, you can make a chart for everything. Right. I knew that uh, Biden was going to win um, because I saw the election chart and Trump had a head and shoulders. Anyways, um, this is the chart. Right. So now you can literally like perform technical analysis on NFTs and you can say, hey, look, this is a little head and shoulders here. It looks like famous Fox, um, you know, might might have a move here from a thousand to fifteen hundred over the next several weeks or months. And so I'm going to buy an NFT here and you know try to make 50 percent on it and so pretty cool that you know the first nft marketplace with charts and of course other cool features so that's tensor that token is out tnsr so you guys can look into that one moving on from nfts into liquid staking so sanctum very cool project i mentioned this one in my top five solana kind of little uh, gems video you guys enjoyed that one i'll put a link to that one check it out and so this is liquid staking now, why is liquid staking popular? Well, it's it's very it has a very important use case because as a Solana holder who want to hold Solana long term, you want to stake your Solana to earn yield on it. Now, people always have this this uh, situation where it's like, should I stake Solana and earn inflationary rewards? Because if I don't stake it, I'm getting diluted um, a little bit, right? Or should I use my soul to go participate in DeFi, in NFTs, in GameFi? Well, liquid staking solve that, right? So liquid staking token, you stake your Solana and you get this derivative, you know, staked soul or Jido soul or whichever of these LSTs, liquid staking tokens, 
and you can take that token and go use it and participate in DeFi, right? You can take your LST, loan it, borrow it, you know, use it as collateral. Um, and so this is a project that has, you know, makes it very easy for different projects to launch LSTs. I guess I'll connect right here for different projects to launch LSTs, as you can see over here. And then you can, okay, there. And you can scroll through them, read about what, you know, Drift, which is talk about Drift. They have their own LST. They have cool benefits. And so, you know, a lot of new use cases. For example, there's this Bonk Soul and it's Bonk's liquid stake in Soul. So if you stake your Solana with Bonk's validator, well, you're getting rewards backed by the Bonk validator, um, which actually uses validator returns to reduce the Bonk supply by, by buying back. But then this one actually also earns Bonk. So reward supporters with Bonk. If you're holding this Bonk so as opposed to others, you're getting airdropped Bonk tokens every week. So if you want to kind of DCA into Bonk and you want to keep your Solana and stake it, well, hey, you can you know, turn your soul into Bonk so and now you're earning Bonk for free. And there's a lot of cool LSTs with different use cases. There's, there's a lot of cool ones, right? And so this new project here, Sanctum, allows you to trade between them the best liquidity you'll find instantly and basically for free because of their kind of infinity pool that they created here and they also have their their in inf which is kind of the mega right this is a uh, it's uh, infinite pool and so you have the highest yield on solana so this is an lst itself and so this is this is a very good one i'm going to make a video about this this project because i think it's very interesting and they have a lot of cool new features another one that does not have its governance token out yet and so make sure you check it out, play around with it, um, earn some points. And I'll put my referral link down below if you guys want to use that. And you can earn these points and you can earn these little pets by, um, I collected all of them here and, and level them up by holding them. And each LST has this little pet. So again, very cool use cases. They, they do stuff with NFTs and different things, right? And so um, I'll share my referral link if you guys want to use it. And then again, their INF is kind of the, the, the mega liquidity of all these combined and the highest yield you can get because it earns an average of all the LSTs yields combined as well as trading fees from the pool, right? From the infinity pool. And so that's very cool. So that's, that's that for liquid staking. Check out Sanctum. Now, Let's get into meme coins. My last video was a meme coin video. We went over the best Solana meme coins. So if you want to do this kind of thing, again, it's very risky. Be careful. Don't risk more than a couple of percentage points. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar portfolio, hey, you can put one K into one meme coin, another one or two K into another one. Once in a while, you can try that out. Sure. If you see a good setup, um, you know, make sure to take your profits and not risk much more than that because there's a lot of scams here. It's very risky, very volatile. And so if you come to Dex Tools, you go to Solana. Well, you can browse this, right? Because there's gonna be a lot of coins here. These meme coins, these shit coins, they're not listed on, on CoinGecko. So come to Dex Tools and you can check out pairs. You can check out what's moving and you can check out the charts as well. So it looks like there's a Goku here that just launched, <laughs> which is pretty cool, I guess, as I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Make sure your meme coin has a 90. This is not too trustable. It didn't pass the audits. I would not buy this, right? Make sure you're green, you're above 90, you're audited, all that stuff. Okay, so either way, you can see the power of these things, um, you know, up 80,000% in just a couple of days. But of course, you're going to have liquidity issues as well. When you have something so small, market cap, be careful because you're going to move markets and you're going to catch hella slippage. So again, play it slow, learn the game, and, and don't go all balls in into, into these meme coins. All right, but what, where you're going to want to do that is on Dex Tools. And so I think that's it for today. You know, find your favorite projects, make a little, you know, I have my kind of layer ones here and some Ethereum stuff, infrastructure stuff, and then kind of my Solana projects I'm, I'm looking at here. And so you can keep, you know, keep track of what you want to buy. And again, you use Jupiter to trade and, and kind of um, in, in a DeFi way, invest in those different tokens. You sank them if you want to hold soul and earn yield in it. Of course, if you want to lend and borrow, go to Camino. If you want, if you want to buy NFTs, you can go to Tensor. And so just a basic introduction to Solana, guys. Make sure you check out the masterclass if you want to learn how to trade here. Solana is doing well here. You know, ever since the daily or the weekly shade flip here, it called the bottom, of course, this white candle. And Solana's up, you know, over a thousand percent, over 10x this bull market. So it is cooling off here. And I do think on the next impulse move, it's going to hit all time highs and head towards $500 before the end of this bull run. 
and the daily active users is going to approach a crazy number in my opinion it's going to get close to 5 million or more daily active users at the peak all right guys thanks for watching i love you i'll see you tomorrow peace